should you buy an Aero Roads helmet? Or really, should the question be, why wouldn't you buy an Aero helmet? Aerodynamics has become the hottest buzzword in cycling. Well, if you discount disc brakes and 1x11. But anyway, if you're interested in speed and going as fast as your legs will allow, then minimising your drag is a surefire way to faster times. Aero Roads helmets, as most brands claim, offer much better aerodynamics than regular ventilated helmets. The downside is that less vents can lead to hotter heads in the summertime, but that's the price you have to pay for improved aero. And besides, aero helmets are getting much better all the time at juggling the demands of aero and ventilation. But anyway, if you're watching this video, you probably don't need to be educated about the merits of aero helmets. So allow us to talk you through six of the best that we've tested here at RoTC. And the good news is there's not a single one of these in sight. We'll start with a brand new helmet that we've literally just started testing. The original Evade was one of the earliest available aero helmets. And for 2018, it's been updated. Now, as I said, we've only just started testing it, but first impressions are really good so far. The Evade has long been a popular choice in the aero helmet market. It wasn't the prettiest of helmets, but there was no disputing its popularity and aero performance, at least if the company's claims are to be believed. Specialized now has its own wind tunnel, and it's used this facility to develop a replacement that is more aerodynamic, better ventilated, lighter, and better looking than the previous version. Although I'm not sure how the wind tunnel helped with the looks, but anyway, it's claimed it's a six seconds faster than the original Evade. Now Specialized doesn't give much more detailed aero data than that. And as with all aero claims, we have to kind of take them at face value. The newly designed Evade, thanks to a complete redesign using heat sensors, is claimed to produce a 1.5% cooler head than the original. The improved cooling effects come from a revised vent sizes and shapes and deep internal channels that do a better job of pulling in cooling air and directing it to where it's needed. It's also 16 to 20 grams lighter as well, with this size medium weighing in at 254 grams. The update Evade looks like a good upgrade to the original. We'll have a full in-depth review on the website very soon though. This is the new Scott Cadence Plus MIPS helmet. As you'd expect, it's an aero helmet, but it's well ventilated too. It features MIPS technology to help prevent brain injuries from angled impacts, and of course passes CE tests. Fit and comfort are very good. This helmet is fitted with Scott's top end retention system, which it calls Halo 360. There's a twiddly knob at the back to adjust around your head, and the rear cradle is also adjustable in the vertical direction to suit different head shapes. One area where the Cadence Plus is not competitive when measured against some of its competition is weight. Making things more aero commonly results in added weight, but we were surprised at the rather portly weight of this one. It's a decent helmet though, offering aerodynamic benefit without sacrificing ventilation. We know MIPS is very popular with lots of cyclists as one of the few aero helmets offered with this extra layer of crash protection. The only real downside is that it is on the heavy side compared with most of the other helmets out there. Giro's Vanquish MIPS is a well-designed aero helmet with a great fit system and it comes with innovative new technology designed to reduce drag. One of the key aerodynamic features of this helmet is what Giro calls Transform Air, an aerodynamic cliff on the shell. So rather than being just smooth, continuous shape from front to rear, about halfway back, just behind the logos, the shell steps down a few millimetres from one level to another. The idea is that this makes the air act as if the Vanquish MIPS was a full teardrop style time trial helmet, but in profile, that's much more versatile. The Vanquish MIPS comes with a magnetic eye shield called Vivid that as well as protecting your eyes, is designed to further reduce drag. It offers good eye coverage and excellent vision. I can imagine some of you are gonna struggle with its sci-fi looks, but you can't really argue with the function. Obviously, as another option, you can always use the Vanquish MIPS with regular glasses. So all in all, this is a really high quality aero road helmet. 
When we tested it, it didn't make the reviewer's head too hot. It's not ridiculously heavy, and the eye shield system is excellent. The Bontrager Ballista helmet is a great aero road option with a very good ventilation system that helps keep your head cool and comfortable as you ride. You get three very large vents up front and two more on the top of the helmet. These lead into deep channels in the expanded polystyrene that run right over the top of your head and onto a series of exit ports at the back. When you hit a fast ascent, you can feel the cool air coming in at the front and moving over the top of the head to keep you cool and dry, or at least cooler and drier than you otherwise would be. There are more airy standard helmets out there, but the Ballista feels cool for an aero helmet at least. It uses Bontrager's Headmaster 2 fit system, which features a plastic cradle that attaches to the EPS at the temples and at the rear. So, all things considered, the Ballista is an aero road helmet with very good ventilation and a low weight. In use, it feels almost like a standard non-aero lid. The Met Manta is a sleek looking thing with a near solid shell compared to some other aero helmets on the market and it's surprisingly svelte. Met claims the Manta saves 10 watts at 50 km an hour compared to its rivals and although that's hard to test in the real world, even if it's half of that, it's not to be sniffed at. It's one of the most vented aero helmets we've ever tested yet. The wind seems to really rush into these two middle vents, so much so it can probably do with a bug mesh as you can feel those little critters getting sucked up in there. The scoop on the top whips cool air out over the top of the head and out of these six vents at the rear. It's worth mentioning too that the Manta is just 215 grams, which is impressive for a helmet of its type. And you certainly notice that when you're riding, or rather you don't if you get what I mean. Anyway, compared to its rivals, the Met Mantra is actually not badly priced, £170, and it's lightweight, cool, and makes that worth every single penny. Cask's Protone Helmet, developed in collaboration with Team Sky, is a highly adjustable, cool, and comfortable lid. If Cask claims are to be believed, it boasts impressive aerodynamics for a well-vented helmet too. And one of Cask's biggest boasts about the Protone is that it's been designed using computational fluid dynamics software to have one of the lowest drag coefficients of any ventilated helmet, which is particularly important to the likes of Team Sky, obviously. Now, cars don't put a figure on their aero claims, and we're not in a position to provide one, so you'll have to take their word for it. Or not. It is, however, one of the best ventilated helmets you can buy. Even cycling in the high heat of summer there's good airflow across the top of the head and it keeps the sweat at bay. It really is very impressive. You can wear it all the time, not just when you're racing. The fit is adjusted via a clicky dial at the back and you can also alter the sideways position of those occipital pads independently so they can sit in the most comfortable place. And the overall result is that you get a really secure fit in no time at all. So, there's lots to like about the Protone. It's a highly adjustable, cool, and comfortable helmet that claims really impressive aerodynamics. So there you go. Thanks for watching the video. Those are six aero lids that should hopefully make you go a little faster. If you like this video, then give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.